be painting this door. It's got a lot of loose paint here, chipping up everywhere. Um, pretty time consuming to scrape it off with a scraper. And I just hit it with the, uh, the wire brush. I'm not gonna take everything down to the uh, bare wood, just to see where there's loose chips. So we'll do that all the way around. So it really comes in handy when you have, you know, multi-layered, um, you know, molding here. With the scraper would be pretty difficult. So using a soft, uh, it's a brass wire brush. It's not damaging the wood or scratching it or anything. Just getting off anything that's flaking up. So now that I've got all of the loose peeling paint stripped off got a nice uh, smooth somewhat smooth surface to paint on now I will clean up this mess a little bit then I will mask everything off I have the option to mask around this uh, lock set or I can remove it I'm just going to remove it make it easier Now to remove this handle, there is an Allen head screw in this hole here. You just uh, back it out a couple turns. The handle slides right off. And then this plate comes off with the screwdriver. Just get a little uh, kind of the edge of it a little bit. Pop it off. I can paint around this part because it'll be covered with the decorative plate so I don't have to be careful so I'll just leave it like that so I've got it pretty well masked off so whatever time you spend prepping pays back probably tenfold whenever you actually go to painting and time savings to uh, brush on the paint onto the wood trim and then when it comes to the steel door I'll just use a foam roller and roll it on. So for painting doors use the best paint you can get your hands on. In this case uh, what they had was a Max Bond Dutch Boy. It's an exterior paint and I'm using a semi-gloss here. So always always just plan on two coats. You can't uh, put the paint on too thick if it does stick it will run if it doesn't run it'll peel so two thin coats is always better than one thick coat so there's with the first coat so we'll let that uh, dry a little bit and we'll put another coat on it so I'm painting a door I like to do the more difficult or featured areas first just get paint in there I'll directions and then go over the easy parts and just blend it all in whenever you mask and paint is you have to peel that masking tape off before the paint completely dries otherwise you'll have uh, paint hardened on there and your tape won't come off and it'll bring paint off with your tape and all sorts of issues so just soon as you're done painting start pulling that tape off and there's the finished product